Okay, we left this morning, bright and early. Uh, we made it here and the sun's kind of starting to go down. We are headed on the first stage of the Coeur Lane Trail and we're going to Hayburn Park. First tunnel. Lucas, so tell us about day one, day halfway through day two. Um, on day one, we took a lot of breaks and we only did about seven miles because we had to get to our campground and it was getting dark. When we arrived at the place where we were supposed to be, we had no clue where it was. And so we had to climb through all these bushes and stuff we found these other campers and they said that this is a camping spot and we found out that we could have just trudged through a lot of poison ivy or poison oak. I, did, I got hardly any sleep because it was larger and we broke down the tent, we made some new friends and we got rolling again and found out that Mom's tire was doing its weird thing again and we had to fix it up. But it would only work for like five miles. And then we went to the shop and fixed it completely. And now we're back rolling. Okay, here's Aiden. So, and yesterday um, we also met this person who was the best cherry. Um, uh, cherry stem knot tire? Yeah, with his tongue. Okay. Ready? <laughs> yep. That's cherry stem. How nice. many seconds is that? Uh, probably about three and a half, four. My and record, world record for one is two seconds, so. 14 in one minute, 15 in one minute, just broke it. 39 in three minutes, and then 911 in one hour. Check out the website, tongue-tied.com. It's on the card. Nice. You guys come back and we'll teach your sons how to do this. It's real easy. I taught Jay Leno how to do it. You ever seen Jay Leno on TV? Tonight Show? That's, no? That's too late. Okay. <laughs> you guys come back. I have, I have two gallons of cherries. We'll practice until you guys get them tied. All right, man? Nice. All right. Don't let me hang it. All right, we'll see you when you get back. <laughs> Dad, did you get the picture of the dogs? Oh, they're trying to get out. If not, we're going to hold. And what was some of the highlights for you yesterday besides meeting Al? Well, yesterday, well, I, I really liked how we could go into the river, river. It was really easy to do the splits because it was so slippery. <laughs> <laughs> so I did that a million times. Did you like fishing? Yeah, I liked fishing, but we didn't catch anything. Uh-huh. That was the thing, so. Um, we had a really fun time. But in the morning, it was super cold. <laughs> so I would barely get out of my tent at all. Yeah, we had a fire. The fire was really cool. Then we just started packing up, and then we got out the door. So yeah, that's mostly all. Okay, well why don't you race along ahead with your brother and I'll just talk to mom. That's pretty, huh? Okay. Okay, so everything's been very beautiful. Yesterday turned out to be more of an adventure than we expected. I'm surprised neither of the kids recorded that they both rode 35 miles, which is amazing and the longest any of us has ever ridden, um, all in one, one spurt. So uh, we were really proud of them yesterday for that. And about 25 miles into our trek, we realized that 
campground that we have been considering wasn't really there and neither was there any water to be had so I think we both got a little nervous about that Hi. Uh, and it was hot so we decided to forge ahead and make it all the way to the town of Cataldo where we stayed at the Condorosa campground which was really super fun um, by the river um, but about 10 miles before we got there Dan's trike broke down and so the boys we had to harness the boys uh, with a rope to pull Dan So I am being pulled right now by my two reindeer on my jingle trike, a two a two bike open jingle trike, because my uh, drive shaft has gotten stripped out on the trike down there, and we're gonna have to try to get it repaired here. Hopefully in the next town, which is Cataldo. And if not there, we'll have to limp it down to Kellogg. And they thought that was really fun. So actually, probably made the last 10 miles surprisingly more bearable for the boys, even though it was a little bit more physically grueling. Did you guys enjoy uh, being the reindeer yesterday? <laughs> they wanted to put the rope on this morning, but Dan got his bike all fixed miraculously so thanks to thanks to uh, our host had a friend who is a um, retired Hi. Hi. Boeing engineer who had a well machinist machinist yeah that makes sense. yeah anyway I wasn't part of it I've just set up the camp while Dan got his bike fixed and that was great <laughs> <So>. <laughs> And very skeptical about the prospect of finding a machinist in the bustling metropolis of Cataldo. Um, but lo and behold, within 15 minutes, we had one on the way to the campground. And within an hour, I'd say, Dan had his trike all fixed and it seems to be working fine. Yeah.